Hey guys, I know by Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another must download application that I would like to share with you guys. And just like I try to do every single week here on the channel, I try to share an app from the App Store that I think is worth a download. And this week will be no different. But as I always say, if there's any apps you would like for me to try, any recommendations or suggestions, you can always leave those in the comments down below. And maybe I'll feature the app that you recommend on the next episode. Now today we have a really awesome utility to me, one of the most complete applications to edit videos on the go on your device to post them rather is YouTube, social media, TikTok, etc. It is Phil Morago. They're the sponsor for today's video, but the reason I brought them on the channel is because they have the most complete application for video editing on a mobile device. And I'm gonna show you here why. Now, the layout is very simple to start out here. You have new project where you can just import a project very easily into the app. But let's take a look at some of the materials available. And this is why I like Film or Go to edit videos on the fly. You have your features tab here, which shows all their stickers and featured stickers and animations. Also, you have filters and transitions, but then you also have separate categories. So you have a separate category for stickers. You have a search carousel if you wish to search through specific category, but you can see here the selection of stickers uh, available are just a ton. And uh, the, the great thing about this application is you can download everything once you go pro and you have everything available when you go to edit your video. Then you have your filters. Obviously, you can apply filters to your videos. As I mentioned, I download everything when I go ahead and update to the pro version so that I have everything at my fingertips when I go to edit. So a bunch of filters available here as well. And of course, you have transitions. Each category, of course, has their own little thing going on. So you can have additional transitions within the menus right there. And of course, you have the effects. One of my favorite effects is this one right here where it starts the video out like sort of zooming in or turning on like a old TV. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look here on how to create a really cool video on the go very quickly with film or go. So the first thing to do is make sure you either want a template or you want to create a standalone video because they do have templates here. These are preset here. So for example, if you want to choose this template here, you can click on make a video and then you can select either a video or a photo from your albums and then just quickly select a template that they have available. Let's say I want to go ahead and select this template here and go ahead and add my dog Nacho to the template. Click go and take a look at this. In a matter of seconds, I can create a really cool template with already preset animations and post this straight to social media. That took me literally seconds to do. And they have several of these templates, as you can see right there, ready to go. Once you click export, this will export and you can go ahead and upload this to uh, any social media, as I mentioned, either YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, etc. That's just the template options. Now, if you want to create a standalone video, as I mentioned, you can head on back here and just import a project. Now you do have music by the way that you can use as well. So just keep that in mind. So import a project here. And as you can see, we can go ahead and select any video from this catalog. I'm gonna select the uh, iPhone case unboxing. So right here it is. It's importing the video into the application very quickly as you can see right here. It takes just a few seconds to import. This is 4K footage being imported into the application. I can export it well, 1080p and even 4K as well. So once you go pro, you have a lot of benefits, a lot of filters and a lot of options to play with. So right here it is. I have right there the unboxing of the iPhone case that I'm currently using on my iPhone. So let's start with one of those effects that I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and look for effects right here. It is add an effect and we're going to go with the one that I like the most. Remember I mentioned this one I like the most just like so. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And then as we continue to edit our timeline here. Let's say I wanna go ahead and choose a sticker for a thumbs up. So right here we go to the menu, we go ahead and look for stickers and once we find the stickers options right here, add a sticker and let's go with this thumbs up right here. So thumbs up and there we go. So just as simple as that, now I added a thumbs up into the video and I can edit the length of that effect so I can just kinda of do that for the sticker or the effect just like so. Now let's go ahead and add something like, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. So in the middle of the video, we can do that as well. And we can add that directly as you can see right there. Let's go with that. And before we end at this video, we're gonna go ahead and add something else. Let's go to uh, down here to add, let's say a filter. So let's go ahead and add a filter here to this section. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here. I think it's looked pretty cool. And we'll do that. And of course, there we go. We have the filter implemented 
into the actual video. So now we can click export. Once we click export, of course, that entire video is gonna be exported with the stickers, the animations, the transitions and filters that we add in. We can post or save it to the camera roll. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to the camera roll and show you what that video looks like here on my iPhone. So let's go into the camera roll here and let's go into landscape mode so you can see this better. And just as simple as that, I created a video on my iPhone on the go very quickly as you can see right there, the animation when the video started, the thumbs up, then we switched over to uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, the little sticker that we just added to subscribe here in just a few seconds is gonna appear and here we go. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it can't get any easier than that to just create a very cool video for YouTube, uh, for social media, on the go with templates. And they also have this really cool feature that from iPhone, I think it's iPhone 10s and up, you can actually capture vlog style videos. So you have a camera option up top here and you have several options with uh, faces, uh, filters and so forth, as you can see right here to add onto your actual video. But one of my favorite options is the uh, front and rear facing camera simultaneously can be captured at the same time. Take a look, right there's the camera and my hands. So for vlogging, this is gonna be super cool. You can record the video directly uh, from your iPhone's front and rear camera at the same time. And then you can use that video to edit directly within Film or Go and add any of these uh, templates, any of these filters and options that they have available for all your video and content. And that about brings it into this video, guys. Make sure you comment down below what is your favorite feature or what do you think about Fillmore Go with the hashtag create with Fillmore Go. For your chance to win a one year free license, Fillmore Go will be choosing three lucky subscribers. So make sure you comment down below with the hashtag create with Fillmore Go. And don't forget to download the software, it will be down in the description. Thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.